Welcome, growth getters! Ever feel like you're trying to juggle a dozen flaming swords while riding a unicycle on a tightrope? Or maybe your focus seems to flit away faster than a Wi-Fi connection during a storm. Well, if your attention span were a movie, would it be more of a short film? If you're nodding along to any of these, don't fret, because today we're time-traveling back to the era of the samurai to steal some wisdom from none other than Miyamoto Musashi himself. Grab your kimonos and sharpen your katanas, because we're about to slice through distractions and hack our way towards laser-sharp focus. Stay tuned, growth getters, because things are about to get historically fascinating. Discovering your Ikigai When was the last time you got so engrossed in something that time ceased to exist? That's Ikigai, your reason for being. This ancient Japanese concept is believed to be the cornerstone of high focus. Think of it as a hot cup of passion, topped with a dollop of satisfaction, sprinkled with a sense of importance, served on the plate of your talents. Sounds like a tempting recipe, doesn't it? Miyamoto Musashi, the legendary Japanese swordsman, found his ikigai in martial arts, philosophy, and art. Your ikigai is like a compass, always guiding you towards your true north. Once you find it, there's no mountain too high or valley too deep. There is nothing outside of yourself that can ever enable you to get better, stronger, richer, quicker, or smarter. Everything is within. Everything exists. Seek nothing outside of yourself, said Musashi. The perfect focus resides within you. Your ikigai is the key that unlocks it. So take the time to unearth your ikigai. Like buried treasure, it could be hidden in the most unexpected corners of your life. But once you find it, you'll be laser-focused, just like Musashi. Curb the instant gratification goblin. Here's a tough one for our modern minds. We're living in a world of fast food, next-day deliveries, and binge-watching. But this constant hunt for instant pleasure is like a sneaky goblin, gobbling up your long-term focus. Musashi warns against these short-term pleasures. He saw them as distractions on the path to becoming a master swordsman. Musashi also said, Do nothing that is of no use. In this era of constant notifications and updates, it's easy to lose sight of this principle. But remember, each time you say no to an instant pleasure that doesn't serve your goals, you're saying yes to your focus. The goblin of instant gratification may seem formidable, but your determination is mightier. So the next time you're tempted by that new season of your favorite show, when you should be working, imagine Musashi with his stern samurai glare, reminding you of your true path. You'll be surprised how quickly you hit that off button. Embrace the wholehearted warrior spirit. There's an old saying in Japan, if you're going to do something, do it with all your might. Musashi took this to heart in everything he did, whether he was fighting a fierce battle or painting a delicate bird. He was entirely present at the moment. Half-hearted efforts are like a blunt sword, unable to make a decisive cut. In Musashi's book of Five Rings, he states, When your spirit is not in the least clouded, when the clouds of bewilderment clear away, there is the true void. This refers to the clarity that comes with wholehearted dedication. When you eliminate half measures, your path towards your goal becomes clearer, making it easier to focus on what truly matters. So wear your wholehearted warrior spirit like a suit of armor and let it guide your focus, and most importantly, channel your inner samurai. Whether you're working on a project, learning a new skill, or cleaning your kitchen, immerse yourself fully and you'll find that your focus naturally sharpens. Banish the Negativity Ninjas Negativity is like a stealthy ninja, silently creeping up on you, ready to steal your focus. Musashi's wisdom tells us that resentment and complaint are enemies of the focused mind. When you catch yourself stuck in a whirlpool of negative thoughts, take a deep breath. Imagine yourself drawing a samurai sword and cutting through the darkness of negativity. It may sound funny, but it works. A positive mind is the dojo of a focused mind. Negative thoughts are like unwelcome house guests. The more you entertain them, the longer they stay. But remember, as Musashi said, perceive that which cannot be seen with the eye. Don't let negativity blind you to your potential. Each time you banish a negativity ninja, 
you're building a fortress of positivity that protects your focus. Unleash the art of detachment. Musashi once said, Do not hold on to possessions you no longer need. But this isn't just about decluttering your home, although that helps too. It's about decluttering your life, both physically and mentally. Holding on to old ideas, resentments, or failures is like carrying heavy armor. It weighs you down and hinders your focus. Learn to let go. As you shed these unnecessary weights, you'll feel lighter and your ability to focus will skyrocket. Musashi also said, Do not regret what you have done. This quote embodies the principle of detachment. When you let go of your past, you free your future. So when you feel an old possession, thought, or failure trying to sneak back into your life, remind yourself that it's time to let go. Like shedding a snake's old skin, detachment leads to growth and better focus. Master the Zen of Serenity When you're under pressure, your focus can scatter like leaves in a storm. But Musashi, like a calm island in a sea of chaos, was renowned for his tranquility under pressure. Staying calm under pressure is like drawing a circle of peace around yourself, no matter how hectic things are outside. Picture yourself as a sturdy oak tree, standing tall and strong amidst a raging storm. This is the Zen of serenity. Musashi said, in the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. When you're calm under pressure, you can see opportunities that others miss. This enhanced perception strengthens your focus, allowing you to cut through the chaos like a swift samurai sword. So the next time stress knocks on your door, invite it in for a cup of tea. Have a chat and then politely ask it to leave. You'll find that your focus remains unbroken and you're ready to face whatever challenges come your way. Channel the monk's celibacy. All right, before you freak out, we're not suggesting you take a vow of celibacy. Musashi's teaching here is not about abstaining from love or lust. Instead, it's about not letting them control your life. It's easy to get caught in the web of romantic pursuits or physical desires. But when these desires take the driver's seat, your focus takes a back seat. Instead, strive for a balance. When your heart and mind work in harmony, your focus becomes as precise and unwavering as a samurai's sword strike. Balance is the key to life. Too much of anything, even love or lust, can tip the scales and throw your focus off balance. But as Musashi stated, the true science of martial arts means practicing them in such a way that they will be useful at any time, and to teach them in such a way that they will be useful in all things. Channel this wisdom and maintain a healthy balance in your life. This balance will serve as a steady platform for your laser-sharp focus to stand on. Remember, a samurai's journey is not about reaching a destination. It's about the continuous pursuit of perfection. So as you walk on the path of Musashi, strive for progress, not perfection. Embrace these seven principles and unleash the power of your inner focus ninja. Sayonara.